Hi guys, and welcome back to Star Control 2. I apologise for the delay in updating the LP, but I've been rather sick over the past week, and then I got back and obviously had to catch up with quite a few things at work. But, for now, we are going to head to Epsilon Scorpii, which is the home world of the Mycon, and we're going to try and lure them into the Sirene's trap, because we have been bribed with sexy time from our blue skinned babe but anyway just try and avoid these Micon pod ships and uh, speak with their leaders hopefully they'll be uh, nice and understanding please Juffle Wup is all omni-existent spreading and changing the non into Juffleup, you are not who must become Juffleup or Void. We are the ages of Juffleup. We are the Mycon. Our bodies seethe with the passion of our genes. A thousand of your species do not possess the richness in one. My silence. You impede the flow of Jeffelwop through the universe. We will now remove this flaw. We will now aid Jeffelwop by eliminating you. Okay, that didn't work, and since I'm against infinite ships, I decided to run, but can't anyone be just normal? We are the Mycon. Your suggestion is appropriate. Acceptable new worlds are priority for the rapid and complete spread of Jumbo Luck. We wish to know more for our suitability assessment. Tell us of this world. This is good. This is good. This is good. If your words are true, we will gladly spread Jeffo Wap to a new world. We will assemble the burning fleet and send them to this planet. We will send many ships to protect the children as they grow. You have been of service to us. Your insight into the inevitable Jeffo Wap is encouraging. Perhaps, if we were to plant spore sacs in your brain organ and let its tendrils spread through your flesh, then you would truly understand Jeffo Wap. Become part of Jeffo Wap. You would be happier and more fulfilled. Consider our offer. Okay, that's just creepy. But as you can see, the mic are now moving, and this gives me a chance to get onto the world with the sun device that the show Fixie mentioned. Uh, they mentioned a test of some kind of device that flared like a sun. So while the mic kind of moving off, we are going to sneak in and try and steal it. Once again maintaining complete and utter high moral ground here and well, all's fair in freeing Earth apparently. Looks like we're gonna have a fight on our hands though, and they've not all gone. This is a special place filled with Jafalwa. We must not allow it to be soiled by the non. You must go now. Jafalwa is the power of light. Hot warmth in the cold void. It flows through all things, binding them together, making them one. You are non Jehovah. You cannot understand. Below is the pod of Jehovah. There for a thousand centuries. When we are cold, the pod opens and warms us. When it is dark, the pod crunches, and lo, there is light. You are non. The pod is not for you. You must leave. 
We have experienced unforeseen delays in planting deep children beneath the crust of organon life. However, Jaffa life is inevitable. The deep children will be born. Jaffa life flows through time and space. It cannot be stopped by mere energy blasts. However, you are not, not part of Jehovah. You can be destroyed by energy blasts. Let us demonstrate. And now it's time for me to once again utterly fail at handling the mic on. But I'm going to use the oars, who are generally pretty good against the mic on. Just have to be careful because the oars are pretty slow and sometimes they can be hit by the plasmoids. But the uh, the Micon are pretty much defenseless against Marines, so all in all, it works uh, quite well for us. I didn't notice that the Nemesis I was using was already damaged, and I've done something even worse here by ramming it into a planet. So hopefully, I can get out of here before the Micon do any damage. There we go. Right, back we come. I love how that Micon Plasma Ball does a ton of damage, but you run it into one Marine and that's enough. There we go, quick strafing run, get some of the Marines on board and use the gravity whip to get out of the way. Dead Micon ship. And this is where I just start failing hideously. One of the biggest mistakes you can make when you're in command of a nemesis is to launch all your crew as marines. Especially when you're up against the Micon because their um, plasmoids actually do pretty severe damage. And a nemesis doesn't have that uh, big a crew in the first place, it only has uh, about 16 crew. As you can see the Micon ship is trying to move off and destroy my marines at this point, which it's doing a pretty good job at. But, uh, Got some more on board here, and yeah, I ran smack into the plasmoid and ended up destroying my ship, which was pretty awful of me. Still, let's not make that mistake again. I mean, I know I've got a hell of a lot of credits that I can burn at this point, but really, I should be being a heck of a lot more careful with uh, my ships. And there we go, the Micron ship is helpless, and... You can see I still fired off about half my crew there, which is a lot, but that should be the absolute limit that you fire off. I think that uh, I get a little bit overzealous sometimes. And there they go. And just the one pod ship left. Do a bit of back reading on the oars um, in this game, and it turns out that the original developers of the game, while they were, um, they certainly took, I'm not going to say liberties, because it certainly wasn't liberties, but they, um, oh, I can't believe I did that. One fact that isn't very well established is that the guys who made Star Control 2 actually worked, yeah, this is the simple way of doing it. <laughs> use the flagship and destroy the Micon ship that way. I think I just got frustrated there. But the guys who made Star Control 2, Accolade, who were the publisher, actually wanted to release Star Control 2 six months before it was released. And it was going to be missing a hell of a lot of stuff, but a deadline is a deadline is a deadline. And um, the guys who actually made Star Control 2 work for six months without pay in order to finish the game as they would want to have made it. So, yeah, that's some kind of dedication you wouldn't get these days, but uh, obviously games are a lot more expensive to produce these days as well. And one thing that they said is that they regretted not doing a bit more with the oars because they're a mysterious race for sure. And here's the sun device which we're going to pick up. And there's not really that much done. What they wanted to do was make the oars seem a heck of a lot more dangerous than they do in this game. Um, 
they were going to have things like really bad things would happen if you took the oars into quasi space and various other things that they just never really got round to doing and probably would have included in a sequel to Star Control that they were in command of. Sadly, the only Star Control sequel that was released was Star Control 3, which, if you want an idea of how well it was received by the community, most players who are fans of Star Control 2 do not consider Star Control 3 canon. So, if you want to realise how badly the game was received there, then that's pretty much your indicator. It was... Uh, a pretty miserable attempt. It's not that there weren't some good areas of the game, but it just wasn't anything that could live up to Star Control 2 at all. Anyway, we've got the Sun device, and it's time that we took a little bit of a trip back to Earth just to get a bit of a science update and to update our ship. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. More fuel for the fire, eh, Captain? That last load should keep it blazing. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, Sun Device. Data, the unit contains a power generator whose output magnitude is simply mind-croggling. When activated, the device radiates energy equivalent to less than one one-hundredth of one percent of our sun. However, when placed close to a planet, perhaps in orbit, its output would rival Sol. Summary, another precursor tool, the energy output of which can replace or augment a sun's radiance. That's the end of our scientist's report. We shall await your return, Captain. I think with that information, it's time for us to head to Procyon next time, or as the MICOM might say... This is good.